In this example, we use the simplest simulation engine to examine the step line and step load transient response of the self-oscillating flyback DC to DC converter. We set the input voltage to undergo a transient from 310 volts to 380 volts after a delay of 100 microseconds. The output load is set to undergo a step increase of 1 amp after a delay of 1 millisecond. Because we want this system to be in steady state at the outset of the analysis, we'll first choose to do a POP or periodic operating point analysis to get the system to steady state. And then we'll select a transient analysis and do the step line and step load transients for a duration of two milliseconds. Looking at the self-oscillating DC to DC converter, we can see the input source, the flyback transformer, the output secondary winding, the output diode, output capacitor, an LC filter, and then the output load as well as the parallel current source that we use to control the step load increase. Then we have the feedback network, the error amplifier, which then feeds back a error signal through this opto isolator back to the primary side where we then control the main power switch. Looking at our simulation results, we can add a grid to our graph and then put, move the output voltage to that grid. And there we can see our output voltage. The input voltage undergoes a step increase to 380 volts at 100 microseconds. We can see the we initially start off at, in steady state. There's a very slight response to the input change. And then after one millisecond, the output load has its step increase. And we can see a much more dramatic response on the output voltage. We can also just zoom in and notice that the simulation does begin with an exceedingly good steady state solution before we initiate the line and load transients.